Hi. In this video, we will show you the steps to install Kubernetes cluster manually using CentOS 7. We have already created three DMs for this demo. For more information, please check the blog link in the video description box. We have already set the host name for master server during OS installation. First, disable the SE Linux using these commands. Then add the entries in sysctl configuration file to change the Linux host bridge values. Open the fstab file and disable the swap option. Start the VM to apply the SE Linux and swap changes. Once the VM is back to online, open the host file and add the master and node host name and IP details. These IPs may change based on your environment. Create a Kubernetes repo file under repo directory and add the repository's details. Install the Docker and Kubernetes using the yum command. It will take few minutes to complete the installation. The installation completed successfully. Enable and start the Docker and Kubernetes service. We have completed the master server configuration. We need to follow the same steps for Node 1 and Node 2 DMs. We have already set the host name for Node 1 and Node 2 DMs during OS installation. Node 1 configuration completed successfully. Node 2 configuration completed successfully. We are using Flannel Network for this demo. To make the Flannel to working properly, we need to specify the network CIDR while configuring the cluster. It will take few minutes to complete the configuration process. Cluster created successfully. Before start using the cluster, execute the displayed commands. Make a note of the joint command to add the nodes in future. List the node status using this command. Still the master node is not ready.
List the available system pod status. Pods will be in running status in few minutes. DNS pod will be in pending state until we install the pod network for this cluster. Install the pod network using this command. Network has been created and it will take few minutes to complete the configuration. We can get the pod event logs using describe command. Currently it's pulling the images from the Docker public repository. Network pod is in running state now. Now we will check the DNS pod status. Currently it's pulling the images from the Docker Hub registry. DNS pod configuration has been completed. Now all the pods are in running status. Now add the nodes to the cluster using join command. Node 1 has joined the cluster successfully. Node to join the cluster successfully. Now get the node status from the master DM. You can able to see the nodes are available in the cluster. Nodes will be ready once the system pods are available. After few minutes, all the system pods are in running status. In case if you forget to make a note of join command, use this command from the master server to retrieve the join information. Thanks for watching this video.